Hey guys, 828 Find Adventure here. I've got some uh, Tundra door sill protectors that go on the uh, the door where you step and you get into the vehicle that where that where that's painted. Um, and uh, those that gets really scratched up. So Toyota makes these door sill protectors, and you can also get a lot of aftermarket brands. But I got the Toyota ones, and I'm going to show you how to put them on. So let's go do it. And hey guys, if you would, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe button. It costs you nothing and helps me a lot and really motivates me to make more videos like this. Thanks a lot. Okay guys, to get started, you have your door sill protectors and your directions. Note that on the packaging, it says double cab, but the part number is for Crewmat. You can see it here at the top of the directions that it is the correct number. You will need a microfiber cloth and some really strong rubbing alcohol. And I like this squeegee that it has the felt on it. It works really good. And um, there you have it. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you do is you're going to clean the door sill with some rubbing alcohol. Try to get the strongest rubbing alcohol you can use, or you can buy some of that 3M adhesion promoter. Uh, you can get it through Amazon or different, different places carry it. Um, either of those will work, work really good. I try to use just a really pure rubbing alcohol when I do this to clean it up really well and get all the grease off of it. The next thing you want to do is make sure you have the right uh, door sill protector for the right door. Um, they are different shapes and they go to certain doors. So read the directions to make sure you put the right one at the right door. Also, um, this is where you know you go ahead and you peel the backing off. And after you do that, you put it down, you know, you, you get it as even as as you can. I got mine and pressed them up under the rubber seal around the door, right up against the edge, and then got them to adhere really well and used my felt squeegee to press it down. They went on perfect. It's really easy, so don't stress about this, but you know, I just wanted to throw that in there. They're not just like putting down a sticker. You want them to be even. Everybody's going to see them. And, you know, if you're a little OCD about these things, um, that will help. Now we're going to uh, do the same thing for the rear passenger door. We're going to clean it really good with the alcohol. Get all the grease off and any dirt there is. And um, then after that, we're going to... Then we're going to place the, the door sill protector for size and make sure we have the right one. And then we're going to go ahead and peel the back off and go ahead and stick it down. And this is really tacky, so you need to be careful not to let it stick to anything or yourself. And then we're gonna press it down, just like I did the other one. And then I'm gonna get the felt squeegee and rub it down so it's really adheres really well. And which, you know, after a year, they still haven't come loose or anything after people getting in and out of the vehicle all year. Or a little longer than a year, should I say. Then we just repeat the other side and do the driver and passenger door on the driver's side. And that's all there is. So I put these door sills on a little over a year ago and I just wanted to show you how they're holding up. Now, these are the Toyota OE ones. I do not know how the factory ones or the, or the excuse me, the non-factory ones would hold up. But you can see there, they seem to be holding fine. The adhesion is great.
Yeah. They look great. They do a good job. Let's check out the other side. Now this door has about as much, this is the passenger front door. It has about um, about half the traffic that my door gets getting in and out of the truck. But, but these things, they do great. The adhesion has just is, is just fantastic. Did a great job and keeps things from peeling up. But this is the rear passenger. Everything's everything's good. Again, these are the Toyota OE door sill protectors for the Toyota Tundra Crew Max. You can get them for the double cab and uh, probably for other models. Um, they should come standard on every vehicle because otherwise you scratch up your door sills right here. Um, you know, I don't know why Toyota doesn't do that. They're, they're inexpensive. Just, I wish Toyota would just, you know, do that kind of thing, but they don't. But anyways, there you go. Toyota Tundra door sill protectors. Well, I hope you like my video on the Toyota Tundra door sill protectors. And the install of those was real easy. Just clean it good with the alcohol. That helps. Um, on this, I just used really strong rubbing alcohol. But on any future things that I stuck with the vehicle, I used the 3M Adhesion Promoter, which works really good to stick things to your vehicle, like emblem overlays and any of that stuff. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video installing the Toyota Tundra door sill protectors. They're a great thing to protect your vehicle as you get in and out. You know, if you have grit in the bottom of your shoes, you scratch up the paint, and then what do you know? It starts rusting. Just follow along the video. It's really easy. Um, it's a, you know, just a real easy how-to video. Uh, you know, just clean it up real well. The, the door sills are really sticky, so be careful putting them down, and you should do just fine. I've got more videos coming, so please hit that like and subscribe so you don't miss any of them. I've put links under the video in the description, so if you want to check out any of these things that I use in the videos, they're there. And I will see you next time. we got more videos coming. See ya.